Hi, I'm Professor Wes. I'm a civil engineer and a professor of civil engineering technology. In this video, we're going to learn how to create an alignment using Civil 3D. Here, an alignment is basically a line that represents the extent of some linear infrastructure, such as a road or pipeline. Throughout this video series, we'll connect the alignment we create to a vertical profile, an assembly, add that together to create a corridor, and then complete a cut fill analysis on our design. In this example, we start with an existing surface of Elm Valley. Looking at the surface, we can see Elm River and we can see the end segment of an existing piece of Elm Valley Road. We're going to design an extension to the road across the entire surface. So let's get started with an alignment design. We can start by going to the Home tab on the ribbon at the top of the screen. In the Create Design section, we click on Alignment to open the drop-down window. Here we have a series of options. We can create an alignment from an existing polyline or feature line by clicking on the Create Alignment from Objects. In our case, we don't have any objects yet, so we'll create an alignment from scratch. To do that, we'll click on the Alignment Creation Tools option. Here, a window will open with options for our alignment. If you aren't familiar with the Civil 3D interface compared to AutoCAD, this is where some of the differences really start. In Civil 3D, most of our designing happens through windows where we input design parameters instead of manually going through and drawing our entire design. We'll start by giving our alignment a name in this example, we're designing a new road called Elm Valley Road, so we'll name it M Valley Road Alignment. The alignment is a center line alignment, but we also have other specialized options available here. We can add a description of this alignment and choose the starting station of the alignment. Again, in this example, Elm Valley Road connects into some existing part of the road at station one plus zero five seven point four three kilometers or one kilometer fifty seven point four three meters. We'll input that value here so that the start of the alignment continues from the existing road. We can leave the site as none, the alignment style as proposed, the layer as C dash road and the label set as all labels. We can click OK and the alignment layout tools window will open. In this window, we'll click on the arrow beside the leftmost icon to drop down the menu. And in that menu, click on Curve and Spiral Settings. This will open the Curve and Spiral Settings window. And here we'll input our minimum design radius based on the design speed of our road. In my classes, we use the Geometric Design Guide for Canadian Roads to find this information. And here we'll input 250 meters for this example and then click OK. Next, we'll go back to the leftmost icon, click the drop down arrow again, and then we'll select tangent tangent with curves. Now the road drawing command is open and we can start drawing our road. To start, we'll draw the road as kind of a best guess from our starting to end points. We can always go back and edit the alignment as our design progresses. In this example, we're designing the road in a valley following along the course of a river. We want to design the road away from the river to avoid the floodplain and the environmental impacts of having a road immediately adjacent to a river. So I'll follow along the contours to minimize vertical changes in the road. Now we have our alignment drawn. We can click on the third option from the right, alignment grid view and review the alignment in grid form. We can see the curve radius, tangent lengths, bearings, stationing, angles, and chord information in this table. Once we've finished reviewing this data, we can close the alignment elements window and the floating toolbar. Next, we'll zoom in and click on one of the station labels of our new alignment. The ribbon will open a new tab with options for editing the alignment labels. We'll click on Edit Label Group, which opens a new window. Here we're going to rotate the stationing labels and change the increment of the labels. 
So we'll highlight the major station in the list and change the style to perpendicular with tick. Next, we'll change the increment to something more appropriate for the length of our rope. So here we'll change this to every 100 meters. We can also highlight the minor station and change the style to just show a tick and change the increment to 25 meters. We can click OK and close the dialog box and see our station labels have updated. Now we have our Elm Valley Road alignment created. We can edit the alignment in model space by clicking and dragging the features, or we can click on the alignment, go back and open the geometry editor and change the values of our design in that table. In our next video, we'll create a vertical profile of this alignment.